Hey guys, I want to walk you through the major scale pattern for the guitar. So this pattern can be played in any fret position. So you could start with your F sharp scale if you start it in fret one position. And then if you slide it up to fret two position and you do the whole scale all the way down, you've got your G scale. If you go up two more frets, you have A, two more frets, you have your B scale, and then in fret seven position, you have your C scale. So here's the scale pattern on the board. Let me see if you can see it. There you go. And on your low E string, you just use fingers two and four, your A string, one, two, four, D string, one, three, four, G string, one, three, four, then B, two, four, E, one, two. You can write that down, pause the video if you wanna write that down somewhere. So you can just follow along with that finger pattern until you have the finger pattern memorized. And then you can start trying to say the note names of the scale that you're playing. So you become like really aware of what notes you're actually playing and where they are on the guitar. All right, so let's start with fret one position, finger two, and we're gonna keep those fingers hovering over their frets as, much, as close as possible the whole time, playing close to the fret, not quite on it, and thumb centered in the back, all right? So here we go, low string E, two, four, good job. One, two, four, then one, three, four. When we get to this string, we're resting on the G string, we pinch switch, and we can keep going. One, three, four, two, Right? Once you get that down, you can go back down the scale. So you start with this high note, then back to one, then four to two, four, three, one, four, three, one, four, two, one, four, two. And I did another pinch switch there in the middle so that your thumb keeps using these three low strings, the E, A, and D, and your one finger plays the G, B, and E strings. All right, so then again, once you get that pattern down, you can try naming your notes with the scale or moving your scale position up to different frets. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Good work.